Good morning everybody, we Paddy from Across the Shock and I have got the best desk knife I have ever had and it cost me about, I think it was 23 or 24 pounds I ordered this about two months ago from AliExpress Now, this is made by San Ramu I know Boker and some of the other makes are doing something very, very similar In fact, I would hesitate to guess that San Ramu is making them all but this is a San Ramu branded one it's in 12C27. You can even get it in 8CR13 if you want. How's that for good? But I got the 12C27 because I like that blade steel. Whether it is or not, who knows? But I just think it is genuinely the best. We all have a little knife we keep in the desk or a letter opener, the box opener. This will do everything you want to do at a desk for a knife and a small multi-tool. Aha! Aha! It's not just a knife. It comes in this. I ordered this about, must have been eight or nine weeks ago. It's taken to get from China. But I don't care because I was not in a rush for it. It's not something, a knife is never something I'm in a mad rush for. Unless it's something I've spent a whole lot of money for and I can't wait for it to come just for my own sake. So here we go. It comes in this and this is the knife. Now, I'm sure we've all seen these about, but... I genuinely, that it's literally folded over metal. Um, this is your back spring here. You have a deep carry, well, it's deep enough carry pocket knife. It's absolutely fine. I probably wouldn't even carry this as such because it, to me, it's just the knife that's going to sit at the very top of this desk and I can use it for all my mail and uh, cutting tasks, shall we say. Here's what you get. You get this beautiful, and I mean it's just a beautiful, nice, thinly ground, really nice and thin behind the edge. Uh, this is the San Ramu sign. On the other side, it'll tell you the name of the, the number of the knife. Oh, sorry. This is not. Oh, there we go. The number of the knife and it's Sandvik 12C27. Uh, lovely pivot, actually, by the way. Look, this is in the dark red. Comes in an ordinary silver as well and maybe even a black. Look at that for a drop point. Is that not just perfect? It is just the perfect cutting tool. We'll do all your box opening and whatever. But the nice surprise about this knife. It, sorry, should I give you the size? Do you want to see the size? Ah, sure. Give you the size. It's very friendly in the hand. Let me just see what size overall. It is three inch in the blade, but the cutting edge is two and three quarters. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches overall. And absolutely perfect, doesn't weigh much, I would say, maybe three ounces, somewhere around there, I don't know. But it's just so nicely made. These are brass rivets in here. It's not a knife you can take apart, but it's not a knife you're ever likely to want to take apart. There's no half stop on it, it's just a cam tank, but it is so smooth. It really is smooth. I think it might even be, I know it's got to be nice washers, but... um. You know, it doesn't really matter. It opens and closes for 20 odd pound. Let's be honest. Look at this. Is that not a just a glorious pair of scissors? It really is good. Um, let me get a wee bit of paper just to show you. The knife is razor sharp, like 12C27. San Ramu always do. I mean, just look at that. It just goes straight through it. It is literally no effort. They're a great pair of scissors and they're a good size. Do you know what I mean? If I put that down, you go and measure your Leatherman or whatever. That's two and three quarter inches, you know, sitting across there. It's a good pair of scissors. Now, the knife, what's the knife like? The knife is absolutely razor sharp out of the box. Oh, here. Yeah. Um, didn't have to do anything to it. It just cut straight out of the box. He said, <laughs> it's damp paper, honestly, but it is razor sharp. It just is razor, damp bit of paper there. Honestly, it is. Honest engine. But no, it is a gorgeous knife. I highly recommend it. Yes, it says partner on it. I don't know why it says partner on it. That must be another company that's been using. Look, San Remu, I used to get years ago when I was with Gearbest. San Remu make the best small knives, and I stand by it now. They just make an amazing small knife. You know, a cheap knife 
But look how well that is set in there. Blade centering is perfect. The scissors are lovely. There's no rubbing. It just, for £23, £24, hard to beat. And they come with just a single blade or they come with uh, blade scissors and other tools. I just like this. This is nice and slim. It just sits at the top of your desk. And what more do you want? A pair of scissors and a knife that are an easy uh, blade material to sharpen. And they work absolutely perfectly. They're really, really good. I just think it's a really great offering. And I would highly recommend it. So the other thing I'm going to do is I have another couple of knives coming this week. I've been doing an awful lot of GECs and also this is just to break it up a bit. I have another brother. This is a 15 now, it's a lockback. I just fancy the wee lockback again. 1505 Max. And it's micarta. It's green micarta. It's not probably not showing up there, brilliant. But it is a lovely green micarta. Lockback. Fit and finish is really quite good. That's not actually gapping. Again, sometimes it comes across as gapping. But it is just uh, where it's not been hafted completely flush. Maybe just a wee bit of gavin, but who cares? Look, here's the bit that matters. There is nothing there. Up or down, and this is a lockback. There's nothing there. Beautiful little drop point. Very similar to that blade, but we have 440C in this one, which is an even better steel. I, what price is this? I'll give you it in the review, but I think it was about somewhere around the £29, I think. But a gorgeous knife. Really nice, and you know I love 440C. Lovely bulbous handle. The the grip you get in this, if you want to do a wee bit of work, somewhere where you're going to have to push or generate or do a bit of torquing, this is the knife for you because you're not going to worry about it. But the handle, the blade to handle ratio is probably not brilliant, but it gives you a big handle that you can get so much work done. I mean, that's my full grip on that. It's absolutely perfect. And with a lock back, you can really get up and work on the knife, but also it's small enough that you can do detailed work. So that's coming up. I'll have a review on that once I've used it a bit. I haven't used that one. And also another fixed blade from Dreadnought Forge. I'd showed you this before. I'd done its bigger brother as such. But this is one now I've been using it. Well, so you can see I've been using it and battering it. So I'm going to sharpen this up and do the review of this one, which is just a small fixed blade for everyday use with a lovely clip point with the threads there really nice for just everyday use not threatening so that's coming up the sheath comes with it all part of the package so there you go that's what you got coming this week but as for a, a an office knife this is just outstanding i highly recommend it whether they're book or river they're probably all made in san ramu to be honest with you if it says made in china and it's this it looks exactly like this you can guarantee that San Ramu, they're an OEM and they make knives for everybody. Everybody. I mean, all the top brands. They are very, very solid. Take care. Putties away. Bye now.